All right, guys, let's take a look at another example of polling. Let's pretend that we have a certain job on a server side, which we would like to start doing. And uh, we see that it's working and all of a sudden it's complete. So the job stops. On the network tab, we see that uh, we are making several requests and all of them are returning a response while uh, they are working. And the last one is uh, returning complete. Uh, so we unsubscribe from this observable. Also, if we again start doing the job, we can stop it while it's working. And uh, let's see how we can do this uh, using RxJS and Angular. So basically in the component HTML, we have uh, two buttons which are uh, running start and stop function. And uh, we have notifications which we have subscribed using async. Then we have one service. We have uh, one array of users. We are randomly sending them and uh, also randomly sending a status of complete. And we send this uh, as a JSON encode to the requesting uh, Angular service afterwards. Now to the component. Basically, we have one interface where we store the data and the status received from the PHP service. And then we have one stream, which is just a subject. And uh, yeah, the, those two functions start and stop. We are just sending true and false uh, to this uh, uh, stream. Actually, the whole logic is here within uh, those few lines. Actually, first uh, we are subscribing to the stream for this helps the switch map operator. Uh, it just switches uh, from the state of uh, streaming and uh, when streaming is true, it runs all this code and when streaming is false, uh, it just returns empty observable. Actually, we would like every half a second to create long polling or to uh, start uh, the get user function of our polling service, which will query the dbusers.php file and then uh, we would like, uh, while the response is working, to continue uh, to execute this polling service. That's why we use the take while operator. Uh, we also have passed through here as a second parameter to take while in order to fetch uh, even the last uh, data where it has uh, a status of complete. Then, in case we have errors, we would like to retry fetching the data. So to run the, this polling service within uh, one second of delay and only three times to uh, fetch this data. Otherwise, if it's unsuccessfully uh, fetched after the third time, the observable will complete. So we can demonstrate this if uh, here we send directly that the response is not found and exit from the service and uh, run the code again. So for example, if now I again go to the console and click on start job. We'll see that we produce this error. There was no result after four attempts. And really we made uh, three attempts to fetch DB users with a 404 response. That's how we handle errors actually here. And it's quite useful uh, for me, this uh, piece of code. I tried a lot of examples and uh, probably it can be optimized. And uh, what I found from working with observables is uh, that uh, they require a lot of experimentation. And when uh, we are talking about examples uh, which uh, spread further than the trivial ones, they require a lot of debugging and they are not quite easy as uh, they seem from the first uh, look. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you like the information, you can subscribe to the channel.